The RBS-56 Bill is the Swedish Army's anti-tank guided missile. It was first introduced in 1985, and by 1996, over 15,000 missiles had been manufactured and marketed to several nations around the world. The powerful weapon has incredible capabilities. It has three different firing modes, along with both day and night features. Because of its light weight, the Bill missile system can be transported by aircraft, parachutes, or carried by soldiers. And its small warhead can slice through 20 inches of steel armor thanks to its uniquely angled shape. The RBS-56 Bill is so destructive that many experts thought it would lead to the extinction of army tanks. Bill. The Bofors missile's RBS-56 Bill is a Swedish man-portable, tube-launched, medium-range, wire-guided, anti-tank guided weapon, capable of being fired from both ground and vehicle mounts. In 1979, the Swedish Army commissioned the Bofors Missile Company to develop the weapon. It was named Bill as an acronym of Bofors Infantry, Light, and Lethal. The armament then began field trials in 1985. Satisfied with the test results, the device was officially introduced into the Swedish Army that same year. Bofors began marketing the weapons abroad soon after. The missile's main objective was to target armored vehicles at their weakest points by utilizing the overfly top attack course. But it could also be used to destroy helicopters, non-armored targets, and soft marks such as machine gun nests. The Bill portable weapon consists of a 25-pound height-adjustable tripod and a 40-pound missile. It also has a day-night device that weighs 12 pounds, or a slightly heavier thermal night sight device weighing 18 pounds. It can be carried by one man for short distances, but it is also adjustable to be carried by two people. Like most other anti-tank guided missiles, the Bill's fuselage is long and cylindrical shaped, with a round and conical nose. Its long and narrow back fins, arranged in a crucifix pattern, are fully retracted inside and extend only when the missile is launched. The forward fins are longer and more steeply swept. The Bill is loaded inside a disposable launch container. This receptacle is capped on both ends with disposable rubber pads, giving the unused ammunition a dumbbell-shaped appearance. The weapon can operate in temperatures from negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit to over 140 degrees, and its shelf life is approximately 15 years. The Bill's propulsion consists of a two-stage system. The first consists of a compressed gas charge that expands when the missile is launched, highly reducing the backblast danger area and visual signature. The missile leaves the tube at a speed of 160 miles per hour. After launch, a solid fuel rocket sustainer motor propels the Bill to a velocity of up to 550 miles per hour. Once the missile has reached 450 yards, the sustainer's motor fuel exhausts, and the rocket reaches its target through glide and inertia. The estimated flight time to its maximum range is only 17 seconds. In the video, an RBS-56 Bill is fired at a Swedish Centurion, with its turret boxes removed. The tank immediately catches fire. New model. Eleven years after its introduction in 1985, over 15,000 Bill-1 missiles had been manufactured. Its production was then phased out and replaced with the manufacturing and marketing of the Bill-2. Introduced in the late 1990s, the RBS-56B Bill-2 had several new features. The most significant one was the addition of three separate firing modes to increase its effectiveness against the ever-evolving array of modern threats. In the first basic firing mode, the Bill-2 performs as the earlier model, but with increased target aim. This is the most effective function against heavy armor. In the second mode, the weapon sensors are disabled, and it engages the target without full attack capability. Finally, the third mode programming is designed to adjust to the specific needs of the user. It increases effectiveness against soft and area targets by turning off the magnetic sensor and only using the optical sensor to detonate the warhead. The Bill-2 missile system is wire-guided and includes a SACLOS, or semi-automatic command to line-of-sight guidance system. It is also effortless to handle. The user can maintain the target on the bore site of the thermal imaging, or day site, while the missile trajectory is monitored from a laser beacon in the missile's rear, rendering the rocket incapable of producing errors. However, 
Because the Bill's flight and guidance performance is limited by the cables it operates with, these devices have also been known to snag on terrain obstacles, such as electrical towers, bushes, and fences. The warhead used in the Bill 2 missile is its most distinct feature, mainly because it was the first operational anti-tank guided missile to employ it. Other ATGMs are fired towards the target at an oblique angle, but the Bill was designed to overfly the armored vehicles and attack them from above. The warhead is angled downwards at 30 degrees. This allows the missile to penetrate a tank's roof armor, which is usually thinner than other parts of the vehicle. This potent advantage not only maximizes the missile's efficiency, but also allows it to swiftly attack armored vehicles in hiding. As of 2021, the Bell 2 is still being produced, yet neither of the models has ever been used in active combat. <laughs>